Howard has our forecast. JC, great weather today for bringing your child to work day. And you know what? We've got to taste the summer on that seven-day forecast. Details are just ahead. Then there's now a new starts right after this. Coming up next, Howard has our forecast. It's a great one. Yeah, JC, you know, the storm system that brought us the rain, even some hail yesterday, that's pulling away. We've got improving conditions moving in. We'll get a break with a look at the allergy update. How's that tree pollen, Philip? In the high category. In the high category. And the mold spores and the weeds are in? The low category. We'll be right back with 9 News Now at noon, right after this. That's going to leave a mark, wouldn't it, Philip? <laughs> Today is Take Your Child to Work, and so we have Philip. Uh, Philip has been visiting us with his father ever since he was just a little bitty baby. How old are you now, Philip? Almost nine. Almost nine. Almost nine. And what grade are you in? Third. Third. And Philip, do you want to be a meteorologist like your father? Nope. <laughs> no? Why? What do you want to become when you get an astronaut? An astronaut. What's wrong with what space. I do? It's not fun. No, wanna, it's fun. It's I'm just fun. more interested in space. All right. Good answer. Good, good to answer. See you. That prompted, by the way, that was his <laughs> own. All right. Good job. We've been having fun. And the weather. Would you tell people to take maybe a three or four day weekend if they could, Philip? Uh. Instead of just a two day okay. weekend. Yeah. Yes, I would. I'm going to tell you right now. If you can sneak out Friday and Monday, do it. We get some great weather moving in as we head toward. JC, we're running out of this cool stuff quickly, right to summertime over I'm the weekend. So glad. 60s I'm so today, a little blustery out there. Tomorrow we're in the mid 70s, and then on Saturday, mid 80s, and we're going to keep 80s with us for several days around here. In fact, it might actually get a little bit muggy at times. So as we look at your forecast first, part that are mostly sunny and breezy. Highs around 65 with a northwest wind at 10 to 20. Notice the plus. That means gusts are going to be over 30 miles an hour. Philip, you're going to help me with that seven days, so don't run away. Clear and chilly, 34 to 44. You folks in Martinsburg, Hagerstown, up that way, you could have a little frost by tomorrow morning as the winds are going to go light before sunrise. And then as we head toward tomorrow, sunny and just spectacular, kind of like uh, last Saturday when we had temperatures in the 70s. It's going to be a beautiful day. South winds 5 to 10, sun's up 619 setting at 754. Here are the showers from last night quickly scooting away from us, and behind it, which you don't see as well, are some of the clouds that have been bubbling up. So let's go to visible satellite imagery, and you can see with the daytime heating, we're getting some clouds, but a lot of breaks and a lot of sunshine. But it's breezy to windy, and we're not going to see any rain for quite some time now, maybe five, six days. Look at the numbers. We have made a dent in the deficits. Now two and a third inches below average with over nine at National. Almost two and a half inches below average with over nine at Dulles. And Martinsburg, you're still one of the driest areas at 3.71 below average since January 1st. Right now, with the breeze out there, we're into the 60s in Fredericksburg and Culpeper. Only mid-50s, Winchester up to Martinsburg and Hagerstown. And in Washington, Phil, what's that Washington temperature? 57. 57, exactly, and near 60 down south. So, officially, as we like to call it, 57 with the winds west northwest 17. We've had gusts to 30 miles an hour, but the air quite dry. Notice the dew points in the low 30s. So, once the uh, winds die down late tonight, temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly, but they'll also warm up pretty quickly as we head toward tomorrow. Look at these readings across the country today. Minneapolis and Kansas City in the 80s. Memphis 87, Atlanta 80. This is all going to be moving off toward the east and the northeast once this storm system pulls away and gets out of here. Still see the activity here across New England, but hey, say goodbye to that and we're going to be in great shape for the next four or five days. Things are going to green up pretty quickly. So we're not seeing much around here. You notice, and we're not going to over the next couple of days as high pressure is in control. And even this weak little system will sort of fall apart as it moves off toward the east. So as we look at temperatures for tonight, we're talking uh, readings that will be down in the low 40s. Look how chilly it is here in the uh, upper 30s and still much milder out to the west. Chicago 55. Tomorrow, tomorrow, there we go. Temperatures into the mid 70s. Look at the 80s west. And by Saturday, we are in to the middle 80s. So as we look at your seven-day forecast, you got 65 today, Friday 75. What about Saturday and Sunday, Philip? 85 and 86. And then by Monday and Tuesday, still in the 80s, 80s. with an isolated thunderstorm possible by Wednesday, Philip. By Wednesday, we could be talking temperatures <laughs> maybe near 80. Good job, bud.
We've got more 9 News Now with Newt coming up in just a moment. Stick around.